welcome to my kitchen again. I'm going to do another bamboo steamer recipe. This time it's going to be with mahi-mahi. It's going to be a, an Asian-inspired mahi-mahi with uh, bok choy, baby bok choy. I'm anxious to show you these little babies uh, that I found at the Asian market. This recipe is going to be a little different than the first one. It's a little more complex, uh, but it's not hard. It's, it's just, you know, you got to do some chopping and, and get some ingredients. Probably the hardest part of this is just finding all the ingredients. Um, but what we're going to do differently this time is we're going to season the steaming liquid and as it reduces down during the cooking process we're going to take it at the end of the process and turn it into a finishing sauce. So it's it's really worth the little extra effort that you go. This would be a great recipe for um, you know if you had a dinner party with a couple of people coming over particularly people who have um, you know finicky stomachs can't eat fried food can't tolerate oils um, this is a good one all we're going to use is a little bit of uh, coconut oil to um, saute some some uh, vegetables so I'm going to start out uh, showing you the ingredients that go into this dish um, and I want to start with ginger um, this ginger came from an Asian market and if you look at it it's just beautiful it's shiny it, it's uh, it's really fresh this is a piece of ginger that came from uh, the supermarket it's all wrinkled kind of like me uh, you don't want that and it's really worth it to go to a, an Asian grocery store to get uh, things like ginger uh, because you know that's part of their culture it's part of all of their, their cooking I mean ginger is practically in everything and so they always have good fresh ginger so make sure you do that I I went to a, a little Asian market on Highway 19 in St. Petersburg and um, just had a great time shopping there talked to the shop owners and told them what I was doing with the video and uh, they were more than happy to help me out to find the ingredients so ginger that's the first thing gonna be some uh, garlic be uh, chopping up some garlic got some cilantro and um, nice and fresh um, got a couple of jalapeno peppers uh, people with sensitive stomachs you might want to leave this out uh, but boy it, it really makes a difference um, lime and lemon and let's see what else ah yes another thing that I found at the Asian market was uh, kaffir lime leaves and uh, they keep them in the frozen section you can bring them home put them in your freezer and then just pull them out when you need them they're so fragrant and, and wonderful um, another thing well let me show you the main uh, main the star ingredient of the of the, the dinner this is the mahi mahi some beautiful fillets um, got some scallions and uh, let's see what else oh this is kind of exciting um, this time I'm going to line my bamboo steamer with banana leaves and you can get these also at your Asian market. Nice uh, banana leaves that, that make a nice presentation. All right, a uh, little bit of wine, uh, some Sauvignon Blanc, uh, and then one more thing that uh, this is this is really cool. These are um, Szechuan peppercorns. Szechuan peppercorns are different than telecherry black, you know, regular black pepper. They are so fragrant, it's almost like a, a bouquet of flowers. And it gives you a kind of a tingly little sensa sensation on your tongue when you, when you eat this. So I'm going to pepper everything with, with this. And I found this, I think I was in New Orleans. You can find it at any uh, Asian grocery store. Um, but if you want to get in touch with the people at the Pepper Palace, it's just uh, pepperpalace.com, and uh, they'll send this to you. It was $9.95, but you know this will last for a good long time. Um, one other ingredient that we're going to put into this uh, dish is Shaoxing. Uh, this is a Chinese cooking wine, and um, it's kind of fun to, to go in the. Asian market and act like you know what you're doing and ask for Shaoxing. Um, and we've got some butter and some soy sauce 
and some sugar and finally some rice. That's really all there is to it. Now all I have to do is uh, you know get all of this stuff cut up into the ingredients that I want. And I'm so. going to start by preparing the, um, the steaming uh, liquid which again we're going to reduce it down and use it as a, um, a finishing sauce uh, towards the end of the dish. Uh, and I think I will go ahead right now and get my rice going. So I'm going to start by just taking a lemon and cutting some lemon skin rind off. You know, I'm going to use about half of the lemon. There's my first ingredient. And I'm going to do the same with a lime. This is going to give a real nice fragrance to this steaming liquid. Okay, there we go. There's that. And let's take this beautiful, get this thing out of here. Um, let's do this beautiful piece of ginger. Um, the best way I've found to um, clean these and get the skin off of them is just to take a spoon and just sort of scrape it like that. If you can see that. Okay, there we go. That's all ready to go. And I'm going to take this piece of ginger now and I'm going to slice it up. And this is also going to go into the, uh, the steaming liquid. Alright, so there's our ginger. Let's take a jalapeno. And I'm going to cut it in half. Use this spoon and just kind of clean it out. Be careful, don't do too much with your hands with this or you'll end up with burning fingers and I've done it and I can tell you that's no fun. Okay there we go and I'm gonna just cut these into like maybe four pieces. I'm gonna take some scallions and um, just cut some of the tops up and we will put that in our steaming sauce and I think that's about it. Alright so here's my wok uh, that I'm going to put the uh, steaming liquid in. I'm going to open this bottle of wine and put about a cup in. What I want is about a quart of liquid maybe a little more. So you do the Sauvignon Blanc and now I can start drinking the rest of that. And we'll do the Shaoxing. The Shaoxing is going to give it a taste and an aroma that you will know when you when you smell it. It just has that that uh, quality that you get when you go into a, a Chinese restaurant. Okay, so now we've got two cups in. Let's um, let's see. Let's do some water. One and two. Okay, so let's put our ginger in, and our cilantro, our pepper, or jalapeno pepper. Yeah, this is really easy. Um, let's put in our lemon and lime skin and what I like to do with this is is just kind of squeeze it and get that oil in the water. It's just wonderful. And let's put in our scallions and I believe that is it. That looks good. I think I've got everything. Um, so, I'm going to put this on the stove and get it going. And what I'm going to do now is just let that uh, boil. And I'll let it boil for about 10 minutes. I want it to reduce down just a little bit. 
And uh, in the meantime, I'll get started uh, preparing the fish and uh, these baby bok choy. I'm really excited about showing you these. I guess I didn't show these earlier, but um, I just got these at the Asian market today. Look at these lovely little guys. Aren't they beautiful? They're just, just bite size almost. There you can see them. Uh, one thing you want to make sure you do with bok choy is wash it really good because uh, it'll have sand in it. It's kind of like spinach. And in fact, you could use spinach uh, for this dish uh, just as easily as you could bok choy if you couldn't find any. Uh, so I'm going to take a break for just a second and go wash all of this. I know you don't want to watch me do that. Um, and I'll be right back. Oh, and before I... Um, before I get this seasoning liquid um, boiling, I forgot the kaffir lime leaves. I've got them here. And the other thing we want to make sure we do is to salt and pepper this water. So let's see. Let me find my salt, which is right here. I'm gonna I'm gonna put some salt in. And these wonderful aromatic Szechuan peppercorns. I'll just take some of those and I'm going to mash them up in this mortar and pestle. All right, there we go. This is going to be so good. All right, we'll let that heat up. And um, I'll go wash the bok choy. All right, our baby bok choy are ready to go. And our fish is almost ready to go. Get the rest of these kefir lime leaves in. And let me give this a little stir. Again, I want to let this go for about 10 minutes. While the steaming liquid reduces, I'm going to prepare the vegetables for um, our sauce. So I'm going to chop up some garlic and a fairly fine chop on that. And I'm going to cut up some uh, some more ginger, and this is going to be a, again a finer chop than before. We just had chunks. This time we're going to cut the chunks. Uh, we're going to chiffonade them and then cut them across into small little pieces. I'm going to prepare some soy sauce, about a quarter of a cup, and some sugar, about a tablespoon, and one more jalapeno pepper that we're again going to cut into a, a fairly small chop. And I'm going to prepare the bamboo leaves, um, one for the fish and one for the bok choy. So let's start cooking. All right, so I'm, I'm now salting the fillets. The cooking liquid is going, boiling away there. It's ready to go. I'm going to put the, um, the lid on and let that go for about a minute. And then I'm going to add the... Um, uh, the bok choy into the top layer of the bamboo steamer. So hang tough. Meanwhile, I'm going to cut up some some more scallions. Okay, and that's been going for about a minute. So I'm going to lift the top off now. Put another banana leaf in the top part of the steamer and put these beautiful little bok choy, baby bok choy, in the top here. And I'm going to let this go for about seven minutes, I'd say. I'm just making a guess at it. And what I'll do is I will um, stick a fork in the fish. If it pulls out easily, then I'll know that, that it's ready to go. I'm going to lightly pepper these fillets with some of that wonderful Szechuan peppercorn uh, that I've mashed up. 
so it's time to relax and drink a little bit of wine. All right, I've sort of tidied up here while I've been waiting for the fish to cook. I'm going to give it a little test now, I'll stick a fork in it, and let's see how it feels. Watch out when you do this, you can really burn yourself. Oh boy, that feels just fantastic. I think that's ready to go. All right, so here's what we're going to do next. We're going to heat up this uh, little saute pan, which has some pepper in it there. And I'm going to take some coconut oil. And put that in rather than olive oil. And of course you could use olive oil. You could Actually better than olive oil would be peanut oil because it has a higher smoke point. And actually this, uh, I found that this coconut oil has a pretty good smoke point too. So I'm going to put in the garlic and the ginger. Oh, does that smell great. And the jalapeno peppers. Now I'm going to keep moving them around and be careful. I want to turn it down just a little bit. I don't want this to burn. I don't want to burn any of these uh, vegetables that are in here. I'm going to let this go just until the garlic becomes sort of translucent. Oh, it smells so good. And that coconut oil is great. It smells like you're on the beach drinking pina coladas or something. Next, I'm going to put in the the steaming liquid I'm going to put about four ounces in and I'm just going to estimate that oh man that looks fantastic I'm going to let that go for a couple of minutes and reduce down a little bit and I'm going to put in some soy sauce and some sugar and these scallions, and we are good to go. I think the rice is ready over there. Um, I, think, I think we're just about there. Oh, that's looking unctuous. Put in the soy sauce. Get that stirred in. You don't want to salt this. Um, mixture because of the soy sauce. It's pretty high in salt content. You make it way too salty. All right. Put in the scallions and the sugar. About a tablespoon. And you want to just cook it now until the sugar dissolves. Oh, look at the color of that. It's just beautiful. All right, and now for the final touch, I'm going to add some butter to thicken it up just a little bit. If you have people that are watching their uh, dairy, uh, you might want to warn them about this. And I'm going to stir that in. Oh, that looks fantastic. I wish you could smell it. And now I'm going to take our rice and I'm going to add it to the center of this platter here. Okay, now we're going to put the um, uh, baby bok choy on our platter. This is the kind of thing you want to, you know, this has got to go right to the table and right into people's mouths it's because it's nice and hot. Let's do our fish fillets. Put them right on top. There are the stars. And we'll finish it off with this beautiful, beautiful sauce. All right, well, we finished off this dish with this beautiful sauce that we made. And um, I'm going to save a little bit of it for the table. But this is what the, the dish looks like. Right, little mound of rice, some baby bok choy, and then our fish on top, our sauce on top of that and then some lemons and limes around for, um, for everyone to, to use with their fish. So well, that's it. Uh, it's a great recipe. 
It's steamed mahi mahi with baby bok choy, and it's in in a, uh, a beautiful Asian flavored sauce uh, that finishes it out. So, give it a try. Don't be afraid of going to that Asian market. It's really worth it. Take care.